I started with Bill, I first met him back in 1980 and uh, was a hardcore audiophile. Bill was just starting to make cables and uh, I quit my job. He somehow talked me into quitting my job at Metro Media and coming down and joining him in his house uh, where he was running a business uh, out of his garage. So that was how we started. Bill had this concept right from the beginning that cable was something where you wanted to minimize the damage done. Um, our philosophy basically is the best cable is no cable. How do you do that? Um, you, you take different design parameters in the case of, of the way Bill was thinking at that time. Uh, he was already well on the way to realizing that mechanical stability in conductors, isolation of strand, uh, the importance of insulation materials, cable geometry, all these things were already in his mind and he was working using bypass testing uh, as a way to to minimize the distortion byproducts in a cable. Again, in an effort to get that cable to disappear, to get out of the way and become, as much as possible, invisible. There's, um, rightly or wrongly, a lot of um, suspicion, especially in the early days, especially the 80s, 90s, um, about cable. You know, people would think, gee, do you just throw some ends on a stock cable, fancy gold ends, and sell it for a high price. Uh, I can't speak for other people, although there are some um, very worthy people um, making very honest products in, um, in our business. But uh, it isn't like that at all. And uh, I just wanted to show, we don't do this very often, um, but I actually wanted to show one of our real spec sheets uh, just so that you can get an idea of some of the complexity and thought that goes into every cable. Now, the, the, the spec sheet I want to show is uh, for a speaker cable called Oak. And this shows you a bit about what's going on in inside Oak cable. There's a lot. There's a lot of detail. Every conductor, um, the layers, the geometry, uh, the materials that are used, the copper or silver that's used, everything is um, detailed in um, with extreme precision. And this is true for every cable we make. Um, nothing is off the shelf. We, we don't go find, uh, even in the digital realm, we don't go find an HDMI cable or a Firewire cable and just um, pick one off the shelf and put our name on it. We, we don't do that. We don't even pick off the shelf connectors. We design our own connectors from the ground up. Uh, nothing is, um, Nothing is stock. Another uh, thing that we do here at AudioQuest that we've been doing for uh, easily 20 years, maybe 25 years, is we test directionality of conductor. People say, "What you know? What are you talking about? How can a, a, a raw piece of conductor be directional?" But it is when you think about how copper or silver is drawn. Um, through a die when you're taking you know, a larger conductor and drawing it through a die to make a smaller conductor, which is how conductors are made, uh, you create a lattice work. Um, there's an actual grain structure, a uh, chevron sort of shaped grain structure that you can see, but more importantly, you can hear it. Um, I've had engineers uh, here that look at me uh, like I'm nuts, and you know, maybe I am, but uh, they, I say, great, let's go listen to it. Maybe you're right. And I take them down to our sound room and I do a comparison of the conductor, which when we test them, they look like this. Uh, this particular one is 21 gauge. It's our PSC plus. And you can see a little notation down here, A to B. It means it runs from the innermost part of the spool that this came off of, which is an enormous spool of copper. Uh, to the outside, means it runs that direction. And we do listening tests that are very quick, very short, usually involving, in my case, uh, a harmonica that I recorded many, many years ago. An uh, old blues player was playing it. And you can tell in three notes. Um, one way the harmonica sounds uh, sharp and piercing, and the other way it sounds like a harmonica. 
and uh, it's fun to take people that say that's just impossible. And when, once they hear it, uh, then they become curious, okay, I, I hear that, why? What, what's going on? And it's, it's one of those things that we feel like, why doesn't everybody do it? It's free. I mean, it is my time, but it's free, and it's available, and it's repeatable, and so we do it. We do it with everything that we sell. We test the conductors and, uh, for directionality, and we mark the master spools, we send them off for production, and when you get the cable, uh, you'll see notations, arrows, on the plugs. Uh, this is for some of our digital, all of our analog, and it'll be pointing in the direction of signal flow, and I always tell people, if you want to test it yourself, flip it around backwards and listen again. And it's, uh, it's amazing what they hear. It's definitely more pleasing to listen to it in the right direction. <laughs>